Hey guys, welcome to another haul video. Um, today I've got some Tory clothes, some things on Amazon, some Walmart clothes, so just kind of a variety of things. So let's get started. Um, the first piece, let's see, let me turn you around just a little bit so you can see a little better. Well, I guess this first piece, we'll just go with this. <laughs> Um, this is from Torrid. It's a size 2, and I love the pretty flowers on that, and it's just very, very flowy and nice, and I love gray. I think that would look awesome with just a little, um, like a little cami or something over it. Uh, this I got for work, and this is just a, um, a blazer, just the regular Torrid blazer. Um, it's called a Deluxe Stretch Blazer. And it does have quite a bit of stretch in it. That's pretty awesome. It's a size 3. It has some ruching on the sleeves, if you can see that. And um, maybe I could put this under this so you can kind of see the outline better. But they have some other colors, so I'm thinking about getting those. Yeah, maybe that will give you a little... Yeah, we'll get in there. Okay, a little bit better picture of, um, of just how the front is made. But anyway... Um, my jackets right now are a little too big on me. I really didn't want to let them go, and honestly, I haven't. I've let them all go except the last, like the blue and the purple, because those are my favorite colors. But I don't know. I say that everything's my favorite color. I don't know, people. Anyway, I like color, <laughs> but I like black too. I don't know. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is they have Torrid has four of these, and so I want all the colors basically. Um, I ordered last night uh, a couple of pairs of pants, a little kimono, and uh, a blazer like this in kind of a, um, it's brighter than a mauve, what's it called? Um, um, like a magenta color basically, so I'm excited to get that. But they have a red, a green, a gray, so I'd love to have all those because I love wearing jackets. Okay, all right, next we have this little, um, off the shoulder blouse and I think it just looks with the the trim here kind of like a crocheted look um, it just looks very boho-ish and I like that so next up we have um, just a gray tank and uh, but it's it's not like embroidered on there or anything even though it kind of looks like it but it's just kind of a flapped piece but I thought that would be cute with just a little maybe a gray cami or um, not a cami, uh, a shrug or something over it. Okay, I was excited because I finally got to try on a size one at Torrid. I've never had a one in anything, but this flowy top here is very sheer. You'd have to wear a little cami under that, but that's okay because I love those colors in there. Um, I was super excited to see this and, um, and also to get it in a size one, which made me happy. Probably never happen again, but eh, it's, I'm going to take it for now. And actually, this is the first time I've ever gone inside the Torrid dressing room. Like, I'm, you guys know I don't live near a Torrid or anything, and it um, takes me about three hours to get to the closest one. So, but even still, when I am in there, I, I don't ever try anything on. I just get it and go, and I'll figure it out later. Um, just not a trying on kind of gal. But um, lately, you know, I think you just need to. Clothes are made so different and so crazy and all over the place that you, you really do need to try everything on. It's much easier that way. Um, so this time I, when I went, I actually did try my stuff on, which I was very pleased with. And, but what I love the most is those dressing rooms. Oh my gosh, they have fans. They're large. They have artwork. It's great. It was like, oh, and, um, the girls were great. They, you know, would come and see if you need a different size or something like that. So they had a place for a friend of mine to wait. It was like, you know, big comfy seats and what else could you ask for, you know? So, okay. Anyway, um, next up I got this tank. And it just reminds me of just a calming kind of print. And that is in a size 2. Um, make sure this is kind of clear. There we go. Alright, this is in a 2. Um, and I love the, uh, what do you call it, embroidered look. And I know that's really in this year. It's coming in anyway. Uh, so I'm super excited about that because I, I really like that trend. So, And there's actually a green shirt with some um, embroidered stuff on it from Torrid that I really, really want. And I've got it in my cart. But I'm trying to wait ever since. Could, have you guys noticed that ever since Hot Cash came and went, 
that they have not had a good sale. Like everything is 25% off. And I finally gave in and caved last night because I really need some black pants and the others didn't really work that great. And I don't know. Um, but so I ordered those for work and uh, at the store I tried them on in the right size, but they were too, too long because they only carry short, not extra short. And fortunately I'm extra short. Um, so long story short, anyway, I got those. But I kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And I swear, like, every other day there's, like, a 30% off or a 40% off flash sale or something in my box until I'm ready to order. And then nothing. Just silence. 25% off and silence. So, what are you going to do? But, so, like I said, I finally caved and ordered. But And I was really mad because I thought, you know, oh, tomorrow, I know, tomorrow there's going to have this massive sale and everything's going to be 40% off or 50% off or worse. And I'm going to be super mad that I already ordered, but I didn't, and it wasn't, so I'm okay. But, all right, so now starts um, some goodies from Walmart. So this is a shirt in a 3X, and at Walmart that is a 22-24. Um, I have not actually tried this on, so hopefully that does fit. But it just looks really soft and pretty, so like that. Um, also got one pretty much the same, even though this looks like it's got I don't know, almost like a, um, stick it out. I haven't fixed my hair today. It's one of those rainy days. It has been raining here forever, like since this morning. I think we're going to float away or it's going to flood, I'm afraid. Um, but, uh, we do have a lot of flash flooding in this area, so it's serious. But, um, anyway, it's just rainy and messy and yucky. And, ugh, who wants to get ready? Anyway, okay, so this is a 2X in an 1820, and I don't know why I got a different size, but oh well, one of them will work. Um, this is more like a tie-dyed print, and this is more like a paisley. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't know if you can see that in there, but like a very, very light paisley print. Okay, it's going to fall over because I'm putting it all on one side. It's going to crash on my video. Um, okay, this is a 3X, a 2224. Um, this was marked down to nine. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you the price of these. These were marked down to seven dollars clearance. Look, I love clearance. This was clearanced for nine regularly. I think it was twelve ninety four. So either way, it was a good price, even if it was you know regular price. I always need black shirts. So um, this is a two X and eighteen twenty, and this is regular price um, fourteen ninety seven. But I just really liked the flowers. It's got this stretchy neck on there, and um, it's kind of long, so I just thought that would be something very simple, easy, casual, and wouldn't require much ironing, which I adore. Um, I swear that thing's going to fall. <laughs> All right, so let me turn you back here for a second. All right, next up, let me show you next. All right, I have these, which are some cute little uh, pink fingernails that I found at a place called Magic Mart. So, then here's an Amazon thing, and I was talking about that Amazon stuff the other day, and how mm, you really shouldn't order that. Oh, this is, I'll show you that too. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's even a little much for me. Um, it looks, it's not, I don't know. I mean, I know it was a lot online, like it looked ba-bam, but I don't know. I saw a makeup geek with um, with a really cool necklace, not exactly like this, but similar. And I thought, wow, if she can pull that off. Of course, hers was like a thousand dollars. That was way pretty. But um, this was kind of like a knockoff version of it, I guess. And uh, but I thought, oh, I can do some bling, and it'll just be like a statement piece. Uh -huh, yeah, statement. Like, oh, no, no. This is going back if it can, and or if not, I'll be passing that along to somebody. So it's okay. Um, all right, another Amazon purchase, which I both love and hate. I have been looking at this purse for so long, and it's been sitting in my Amazon cart forever, and each time I pass over it and I order something else, but I always love it, and I always, you know, always like it. So, it is, I don't know if you can, oh, here, that side. the Sugar Skull purse, okay, and it's great, I haven't taken the little thingies off yet. Um, but it is a very, very large, like, you know, I could fit a person down in there. Really could. Um, it, it does, 
pretty much go on your shoulder, not 100%. So I really like a bag I can sling on my shoulder. No matter how big it is, I just want it to sling on my shoulder correctly. Um, this one doesn't 100% do that, but it's not horrible either. And I just love that sugar skull. So I don't know. I'm, I may end up sending it back. I may not. Um, it'd be great for like, you know, if I'm carrying my laptop and some different things. But long term, I don't really know if I'm going to carry that because it doesn't stay on my shoulder. Like, I can handle big, but it's got to go on my shoulder. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see. Um, that was Amazon as well. I got to quit ordering off of Amazon. I'm, I'm just not very good at it. I don't read descriptions. I don't see how big it's going to be. I've got to start doing that. Okay, next up, um, I got this really cool uh, eye decoration. This is, means many things in many different cultures, and you know you can kind of look it up and read about it. Um, I absolutely love it, and it's special to me. So um, I had to get that. It's a place called Earthbound Trading, and um, we went back uh, to look at more rings or whatever. Well, for the first time, because I messed it up last time, I guess. Um, but we went back this past Saturday, and. Um, and we went to that big mall near there and so it was awesome and I found this store and it was so great but for as far as the ring update um, that was pretty good I did find one that I really really liked I tried on like 50 and I don't know never really knew we went to Jared's and that there were so many rings like I kind of just had one in my mind and I told him you know that's kind of the style I wanted and that kind of thing and I went in there and picked something completely different like different color like first I wanted gold now I want white gold and first I wanted simple but a big stone and then I went for all bling and a smaller but but more in price and I don't know I'm just all over the place so um, we may go back and look one more time. The lady was like really pressuring me to take it, take it, take it, you know. It's like, no, not today. We're just going to wait. We're going to wait. And um, he was kind of ready to take it. And then he was like, well, come back and, you know, whatever. And if you really like it. And I think he was getting tired of looking, honestly. Like, but he was really good and really patient. And I want something that he likes as well, you know, not just that I like. Um, and we both seem to like this. And I like that, um, that he included me normally. I don't know, I guess I imagined it as he just come up to me and propose, you know, with whatever ring. And But um, him wanting me to pick that out, I don't know how I felt about that. Like, I liked it, but then it takes a little of the surprise element away, so I don't know. But, um, but I actually kind of like that we did it together and, you know, had a bonding experience and whatever, so we'll see. Um, but I think I'm going to still look at a few other places. It's just hard for us to get to some bigger areas because of his mother and things. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so we'll see. I'll let you know how it goes. And um, But I think I'm leaning really hard towards that one. So, But he wants me to be sure. So I'm going to look just a little bit more. And I think then I'll be done. Maybe a few other stores and that should be it. But that is my haul for today. And... Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you have any of these pieces. All that good stuff. <coughs> oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm coughing so much today. Sorry. Um, but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.